If Louis XVI was the French king killed during the French Revolution, and this rather fat gentleman is Louis XVIII, the man who inherited the throne after Napoleon, the question has to be, what happened to Louis XVII? The story of Louis XVII in many ways mirrors a medieval English king, Edward V. Both were boys who grew up during a time of real change in their countries. In the case of Edward, it was the War of the Roses. In the case of Louis, it was the French Revolution. Neither actually had coronations. Both spent a large chunk of their short lives in prison. But because later monarchs wanted to cast back and show continuity, they were both included in the list of kings in their respective countries. But that doesn't mean they were actually king. The further tragedy about Louis XVII was that he should never have been king. His older brother, only older by a few years, died just at the start of the French Revolution. Louis XVII, therefore, was just four years old when the French Revolution happened. And over the next few years, sadly, he knew that his father had been executed, then later his mother. So... He was a boy who wasn't really needed. The point of the French Revolution was to get rid of the monarchy, and he was tucked away in a prison. Officially, his death was from some form of scrofula, a kind of tuberculosis, but if you look harder at the information, it doesn't really fit, and it seems that this poor child was just slowly forgotten and mildly abused and starved until eventually... His little ten-year-old body couldn't take it anymore, and his fat, corpulent uncle became king when the whole system collapsed under Napoleon years later. Sadly, Louis had become a symbol. He was a symbol of what the revolution didn't want and what the royalists did, and he therefore had to be just kept to one side, and died with no attempt to try and break him out of prison, in 1805, still more than a decade before Napoleon would collapse and his uncle, Louis XVIII, would become king. Of course, it didn't end well for Edward V either. He and his brother were seen being taken into the Tower of London and were never seen again, presumably killed during the reign of Richard III, but there's no evidence that their uncle had anything to do with their murder. But what we've got in the case of both these children, Edward V, Louis the Seventeenth, is that they became symbols. And even though we're talking about a ten-year-old in the case of Louis the Seventeenth's case, or a thirteen-year-old in the case of Edward V, children who couldn't possibly have done anything wrong, but because of what they symbolised, they ended up dying. Didn't mean to depress you with that one, but it's one of the saddest tales I've told. If you want more, I'm at History Gems on Facebook, Twitter, and of course, there's the book, The Busy Person's Guide to British History. Thank you for watching.